Welcome to Bill's Bridge Corner, Sunday, February 16th, 2014, Class 116, The End Play, Part 2. Now you have a feeling for what an end play is, let's continue and examine some more end plays and situations where you may be able to pick up that extra trick. Another simple end play. Today, we're looking at a hand that was similar to one we covered yesterday. Let's suppose that we have a hand where a suit is distributed king 10x, opposite queen 9x, or the 9s and 10s and queens and kings could be swapped, it doesn't matter. It begs for an end play. See, if the either opponent leads the suit, you don't have to worry about the jack. If you have to break the suit yourself, you need to guess where the jack is located. If you can locate the jack, you can keep your losses to one, the ace. But if you guess wrong, you're going to lose two. Well, don't guess. Let the opponents lead the suit for you. Another opportunity for an end play by whichever player, in some cases. If the opponent breaks a suit, you're guaranteed only one loser. Let's look at a real hand. This is your hand. West leads a six of spades against your four spade contract. I don't need to get into the bidding. There is the hand and let's plan your play. We have five spades. We have two diamonds and one club. That's eight tricks. Look at the heart suit. The holding is just as advertised. If we can locate the jack, we have two tricks, but Rather than guess, is there an end play possible? Yes, the answer is yes. You know the routine. Strip and end play. We need to pull the trump in three rounds. Cash the ace king of diamonds and rough of diamonds, stripping diamonds. Trump are pulled. Diamonds are stripped. Now we cash the ace of clubs and the second club. The defenders can cash their two clubs, but at this point, they either lead hearts or give us a rough and slough in either minor suit. It's really quite simple, as I said, it, this hand is really like falling off a log. All you do is play it out, tell the opponents thank you after you're done. That's all there is to it. The next hand is a rather unusual hand play. This is your hand. You open two hearts. Goes two spades by West. Your partner puts you in four. West leads the king of spades. Dummy comes down. Let's look at what we got here. We have six hearts, and we've got to guess where the queen is to get six. We've got one diamond and two clubs and one spade we might lose a heart. It's unfortunate we have mere distribution in the minors, otherwise we could rough and we'd have four all day. But we play with what we have. This end play is rather unusual because it's an end play in the trump suit itself. Should you pull trump? Well, if you do, you have to guess where the queen is. Given the bidding, the finesse against east is probably more likely to succeed, but is there another way? The answer is yes. Both minor suits, you only have six cards between you, so the odds are they're going to go around. Here's the hand again. Because of the bidding, West is likely to have six spades, leaving East two, so you should be able to strip the spades without too much difficulty. It's at least you can strip East of spades. West may have a lot of spades. You can leave West with a bunch of spades. Diamond should go around as will club. So what do we do? Let's trip spades and look at an end play. Win the ace of spades, rough a spade. Cash the ace of clubs, club to the king, and rough a spade. Diamond to the ace, and rough the last spade. Spades have been stripped, and probably note that we know 
that only West has the remaining spades. East could rough, but if he does, you're going to over rough on the last spade. He could over rough, and if he does, it makes it simpler for you. He's not going to rough. Now the lead is in your hand. Let's look at the situation on the next screen. Here's the situation. You haven't lost a trick yet. You're going to lose the two diamonds and a club. But the hard suit? We're smart. We're not going to lose any. Lead a minor suit card. What can happen? The opponent can cash three minor suit tricks. But after that, they have to lead something else. Not only something else is hearts. They can rough your loser. That doesn't hurt you a bit. You're going to lose them anyway. Eventually, they need to break the trump suit themselves. And when they do, queen will come home. The queen will be dropped. You will pick up the queen. If the defender leads heart, you have free finesse. If they don't, you got slough and rough. Thank you very much. Might even make an over trick if they really goof up. This hand is unusual in the sense that, again, a suit is a trump suit itself. Isn't that amazing? Here's an actual hand from the 1985 Bermuda Bowl, United States versus Austria. Here are the hands. South is in five diamonds, and West leads the queen of spades. Let's look at this hand. You're going to lose the ace of spades, and you're going to lose a diamond. You hope the diamond split 2-1, but that's all you can lose. You have a club possible to lose, but it's, again, it's a two-way finesse. You have two hearts, a heart rough, five diamonds, and you need three clubs. You can't afford to lose that club trick. On trick one, you duck. Back comes another spade. You duck again on the board and rough with the two. Now, at trick three, you cash the ace of diamonds. And you're lucky they split two-one. So there's one outstanding high trump. King or the queen of diamonds. With that in mind, whoever has it, can he be end played? Let's see. Play the ace of hearts, rough of spades. King of hearts pitching the king of spades and rough of heart. At that point, here's the hand. You've stripped the hand of the major suits. You've only lost one trick. The high diamond is outstanding. Lead a diamond. The winner has to lead something. If they lead a major suit card, you got a rough and a slough. If they lead a club, you get a free finesse. Whichever, whoever has the queen is going to lose it. And they're out of diamonds, so you're going to pick them all up. In this case, you know who's going to win, but it really doesn't matter. If the winner leads a club, you get free finesse. That's it's all over, folks. All over. Let's review some simple techniques that we learned. The following hand demonstrates two techniques, some which we learned and some new here. It demonstrates why and how one should count points and place honor cards based on the bidding and the play. Because in the following hand demonstrates how to execute an end play against a specific opponent. Sometimes, as it was the very first end play we saw, only one of the two defenders could be in played. You have to plan for that specific opponent to be in play. Here we go. This is your hand. You're south and the bidding goes one club, you bid four spades. I'll pass. North lays down his hand. Not much, but helped a little. The opening lead is the four of clubs, and it goes four, ten, queen, two. Oh, fascinating. Where'd the ace go? It's with east, of course. Trick two. East shifts to the three of spades. You play the ace.
Here's the hand again. Bidding marks East with all of the missing honors because he opened. So East should have the Ace of Clubs. He had Ace Queen. He played the Queen because he saw the King on them in dummy. He should have the Queen of Diamonds and he should also have the King of Hearts. Placing those cards in the East hand, what can we do? Well, we have that heart situation. We can't play by ourselves. We lead a heart to the queen is going to lose. Well, we can't finesse the hearts, and we have no entry to dummy to finesse the diamond, so what can we do? Well, let's draw a trump, take the ace king of diamonds, and then play a diamond. At this point, east wins with the queen of diamonds, but let's look at the next screen to see the problem that East has. East on lead, here's the hand. What is East going to do? He just won a trick with the Queen of Diamonds. Well, if he breaks hearts, your Queen is going to win a trick. It wouldn't win otherwise. And if he attacks clubs, he's only going to get his Ace. If he underleads his Ace, your King is going to take a trick. Otherwise, you'd have two club losers. He's in play. But note, in this hand, East is the only one who could be in play. West could not be in play. His West could lead either a heart or a club, and East is sitting on top of the tricks in dummy. Declare needs five more tricks, and he's going to get them. Any lead he makes, in this case, is going to give him his extra trick, and he's going to make the contract. Low heart goes to dummy's queen, and breaking the club sets up the king of clubs. Low club goes to dummy's king or jack, they're going to make it. If east leads the ace of clubs, south pitches a heart, and then wins the rest. Tomorrow we're going to continue with the subject of end plays, with end play. Part 3. See you tomorrow.